Hi, and welcome on board. Today, in our mind-puzzling solitaire section, I'm gonna show you how to play this game, Anaconda. The game comes in a typical Smart Games hard plastic box. Inside, you'll find the booklet with the rules, challenges, and solutions. It's a logic game by Raf Peters, author of Chicken Shuffle. It costs around 15 euros. It's for age seven and up, and has a small format, which is perfect to take with you anywhere you go. I'll explain what this first page is about later. The rules come in English, French, Dutch, German, Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian. It is in no way language dependent. What's the game about? Let's see the first challenge. First, take all the game pieces and flip the green lid over so it shows the letters facing up. Now, copy the picture from the first challenge, placing the pieces where it shows. All pieces have two sides, so check carefully. Place them on top of the boxes with letters. These pop out just enough to lock the pieces in place. With the remaining pieces, you have to fill in all the empty spaces and at the same time create a full-bodied anaconda, from head to tail. Its size does not matter. The first piece has snake body parts on both sides. As far as we know, we could use either side. The second piece has an empty black side and a side with a head. Our anaconda can only have one head so that means that this piece can only be played on its dark side. The last piece has an empty side and a body section. Let's take the first piece and place it here. This other one goes great here, completing the snake. Lastly, the remaining piece fits perfectly in the remaining space. So that was our first challenge. Let's go on to the second one. But first, we must clear the game board, place a transparent lid on top, and flip everything over. You can use it as a tray, or place the pieces on a table. I use it as a tray when commuting in public transport. Once again, place the pieces as shown in the challenge picture. Just like before, if we already have a head, this piece must be played with its other side, so I'll turn it over. The second piece we have no idea about, and same with the third. Let's see which one of the pieces fits this narrow space next to the corner. Not this one, nor this one, so it has to be this one, yep. Now, if we place this one here, we'd cut off the snake body on letter H, so we can't do that. However, if we place this other piece, it leaves a perfect space to fit the third and last piece. That's it with challenge two. So this is how it goes with the rest. The challenges get more and more complicated. There's 100 of them divided into five categories, starter, junior, expert, master, and wizard. In master, you get two pieces already placed. But in wizard, you only get the squared perforated piece. It goes on one of the letters, like this. At the end of the booklet, of course, you have the solutions to all the challenges. Something great about the game is that if you're in the middle of a challenge, but you have to stop because you're about to get off the metro or bus, or you just got called an appointment, you can place the lid on it and store it for later. The pieces won't budge, but you'll have to put the other pieces and booklet in your pocket because they won't fit. If you need to store everything away quickly, the best thing to do is copy the picture shown in the first page. Use the transparent lid to flip it over like an omelet, place the booklet on top, and close it off with the green lid with the letter side facing up. This way, everything will fit inside perfectly. Well, that's it. If you liked the video, don't forget to click on that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos. Games on board. We do the reading. You do the playing.